muskies welcome back to episode four of our virtual book talks um it's been a hot minute since i posted some book talks so we have tons of new books in the library i'm um, gonna tell you a few about our favorites today the first book is on the iowa high school book award list this year and has gotten positive reviews from students reading it all across the state of iowa it's we are okay by nina lacour Marin hasn't spoken to anyone from her old life since the day she left everything behind no one knows the truth about what happened in those final weeks, not even her best friend, Mabel. But thousands of miles away on the ca from the California coast at a college in New York, Marin still feels the pull of life and tragedy that she's tried to outrun. Now, months later, alone in the empty dorm for winter break, Marin waits. Mabel is coming to visit and Marin will be forced to face everything she's left unsaid and finally confront the loneliness that have, has made a home in her heart. So this book is a great example of a book that is relationship driven instead of plot driven. Readers really get into the head and learn the thoughts and emotions of Marin, the main character. It's a quick read and a coming of age novel sent in modern times. The second book I have today is by one of our most popular authors. It's The Lonely Dead by April Henry. This novel combines April Henry's usual mystery suspense with a paranormal twist. A killer is on the loose and only one girl has the power to find him. In the genre-bending YA thriller, she must first manage to avoid becoming the target herself. For Adele, the dead aren't really dead. She can see them and even talk to them, but she's been denying this gift for years. When she counters her best friend Tori in the woods and realizes that Tori is actually dead in a shallow grave, the gift turns into a curse. Without an alibi, Adele is the prime suspect in Tori's murder. She must work with Tori's ghost to find the real killer, but what if the killer finds Adele first? Like I said, April Henry is one of our most popular authors. She writes fun, fast-paced mystery thrillers. The Lonely Dead's unreliable narrator and multiple twists and turns keep the reader guessing at every turn what comes next. This is definitely a binge-worthy novel. The last book I'm gonna to recommend to you this week is one I chose because we're moving into Major League Baseball's postseason. It's Heat by Mike Lupica. If you're a sports fan, I hope you've heard of Mike Lopica. His books are perfect for anyone who likes to play sports, watch sports, or just likes to, likes to hear about the stories behind the players. This cheer-worthy baseball story shows that when the game knocks you down, st champions still stand tall. Michael Arroyo has a pitching arm that throws serious heat along with aspirations of leading his team to the Little League World Series. But his firepower is nothing compared to the heat that Michael faces in his day-to-day -day life. Newly orphaned after his father led his family's escape from Cuba, Michael's only family is his 17-year-old brother, Carlos. If social services hears about the situation, they will separate them in the foster care service, or worse, send them back to Cuba alone. Together, the boys carry on alone, dodging bills and anyone who asks too many questions. But then someone wonders how a 12-year-old boy could possibly throw with as much power as Michael Arroyo does. With no way to prove his age, no birth certificate, and no parents to fight his case, Michael's secret world is blown wide open and he discovers that his family can come from the most unexpected of sources. Again, this is such a great book, not only for fans of sports or baseball. Again, all three of these books are available in the Muskie Library, so stop down and check one out or place a hold on one today. Uh, several of these have multiple copies, so there are multiple kids that can read them at the same time. Reminder that all of our virtual and hybrid students have the option of using BookDash if you want to order books online and come pick them up. Um, I'll post a link to the BookDash how-to video below. Also, if you have not checked out our eBooks and audiobooks on Mac and Via, I will put a link to a how-to video. Uh, we have tons of great resources and lots of books to read there if you want to read on your Chromebook or listen through headphones. I'll be back in a few weeks with some more books. Leave a comment below and let me know what you're reading.